What are we doing? All right. So I am going through this motar. And I've been replacing a couple vacuum lines. This thing is full of vacuum lines, okay? Full of emission stuff. I am getting rid of a lot of that stuff. Instead of uh, refurbishing hoses and vacuum lines, a lot of this, if I can get rid of it, I'm going to get rid of it, okay? So the one thing I am going to get rid of is this gargantuous thing here. This ties in from here to here. And then this goes from here, follows this line here, and ties in to the exhaust down there. Okay? This device, I looked it up, it took me a while to figure it out. Went on Facebook to ask a couple guys what it was. Looked in my Haynes repair manual. Uh, ends up, it is the air induction valve, AIV, okay? It's called the AIV. Takes up a big chunk of the uh, space under the hood. So I'm going to try to eliminate it, okay? Um, what it does is take clean air. Air comes in here, okay? Takes clean air and puts it into your exhaust. It makes your catalytic converter uh, burn cleaner. It's less emissions. Uh, where I live in Mississippi, we're not really, we don't have any uh, inspections anymore. No, we never did have any emissions inspections, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to eliminate that, declutter some of this, get rid of uh, some components that we don't need. So I didn't really see an in-depth review on just this component. So we're going to do an in-depth review on just this component. All right. I already did some of this. Let's see if we can see in here. I don't know. Right. Ah, where are you at? Right there, that blue thing. There was a... Uh, there was a vacuum line from there. Comes over to here, went over here, went over here, and there was a T that tied into this vacuum. So right here, ties into here, there was a T and it came back. So that's the only thing I've took off. So what I did was took a vacuum line and hooked this directly up to down there for now. So that's direct instead of being tied into this okay <sighs> all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the bolts off for this and take this hose off take this out take all this out now then one thing you what i'm going to do i'm not going to uh this line here is going to have to be plugged for the time being i'm going to leave some hose some of this hose and probably put a bolt in it for now and a clamp and tighten it up otherwise your exhaust is going to leak out it's going to sound like you got a terrible exhaust leak all right so that's what we're going to do all right i'm going to start off with the actual canister looks like you got three 10 millimeter bolts one there one there and one down below i'm going to start off with those All right, those three bolts are out. Here's what we're working with. There's a vacuum line hooked to the bottom. That is not going to be a problem. I don't think there's any more vacuum going to this, so we shouldn't even have to plug any of that. Probably just going to cut that line.
right here close make sure you don't cut anything essential that's cut I'm gonna unscrew this here you know what yeah I'm gonna save no you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut right here for right now cut right here just in case I gotta quit and stick a bolt down there if I have to so I'm gonna cut this line right here Here we are. It's kind of crusty down there. These things are notorious for getting moisture out of the exhaust system. So uh, the bottom's all rusted out. Probably wasn't working very efficient anyway. This bracket will end up coming out when I'm all done. Now we're gonna start working over on this side. Start taking this thing out all right so here's what I'm looking at the hose I just cut over there hooks up right here okay I'm gonna take this complete thing out there's a bolt there and two bolts over here they look to be 10 millimeter and it also looks like there's a bolt that plugs into this air box so I'm gonna take those three possibly four bolts out All right, folks, so it was just the three bolts, three bolts on the bottom. I thought this bolt here hooked up to this air box, but it doesn't. So I got three bolts out. We got two big hoses, and then we've got this vacuum line, which plugs in over here. Let's see if we can see that. That's where that little jigger's at. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off. Uh, probably cut this line here or just disconnect it and that's where i'm going to put my bolt for the time being somewhere in this line this is the line that connects to your uh, exhaust down there so i'm going to cut that vacuum line and take those hoses off all right we're going to tie it up for the day this is what we're looking at still got the bracket in there that'll come out a couple other days okay I just unplugged this is the electrical connection that goes into this little module uh, so there is nothing else hooked up to that so there's no point in plugging those we're gonna see how it rides without this fit with this uh, electrical thing hooked up um, took my bolt took one of the original clamps on this thing took a big bolt put it in here tightened it down for the time being and zip tied it over here just so it doesn't uh, run into the fan motor this bracket is still in here uh we'll end up taking it out as long as everything works well see how it runs that will all come out okay it's raining so we're going to call it a day take it to work today see how it runs All right, folks, we're gonna call that a wrap. It has been probably two to three weeks since I pulled all that stuff out. Pulled it all out. The only thing I gotta left to do is eliminate this whole uh, metal hose down to the exhaust down there and weld it up. Other than that, everything is out. All the brackets, all the vacuum lines, etc., etc. I ended up taking the air thing off their box down here eventually i would like to take this here and run it back somewhere to get cold air right now it's sucking in hot air but uh so i did a did a uh see if i can turn this around here i did a miles per gallon test okay uh over a course of 
about two to three weeks because one week was really cold and I was heating the truck up about 10 minutes before and after work. So I really couldn't count that week because it's just sitting there sucking gas, not going anywhere. So I got two fill-ups to uh, see what this did exactly, okay? Before, I was getting 18 miles to the gallon, okay? Afterwards, after taking all this off, I'm getting 20 miles to the gallon. So it increases fuel, okay? Uh, there is just a slight hesitation at idle. I may just have to bump up my idle a little bit, check the timing, that might go away. Just an ever slow, ever so slight uh, hesitation at idle. As soon as you get on the gas though and go, it's not there. You can't notice it, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna look into that. It's nothing, with the two miles per gallon gain, I am fine with that. It may just need some fine tuning, all right? Uh, it gives you a whole lot of space here whole lot of space what I'd actually like to do I'm gonna clean all this up this is another another thing clean all that up what I'd like to do is get a bigger battery this is kind of a smaller than full-size stock battery kind of like to take this battery and move it over here okay I haven't decided whether I'm gonna remove the charcoal canister I may relocate it back here somewhere right but I got all this room over here. I'd like to maybe put my battery over here and then run me a vent, a cold uh, air intake type thing over here somewhere. That'll be for another project. But that's it. That's the gist of it. About two miles per gallon better taking all that stuff off for me. All right. Thanks for watching. On a side note, I forgot to mention, I also took out the air compressor for the AC, the AC lines, and the AC motor mount with the pulley. Okay, the previous owner hit something and I think they already moved the uh, condenser. So the lines were already unhooked from there, so I went ahead and removed the rest of it. Uh, it's going to be hot, but the last car I had didn't have AC either, so I'll be used to it.